Welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and this is Wolfgang. And I would like to share with you another excerpt from one of my more far out sessions. You know, I want you to understand, you know, what happens in those sessions. You know how cool it is, <laughs> I have to say. And, and here we will be talking about the Anubis imprint and also the humiliation ritual. And I've seen a lot of that, you know, what is being brought in, in my work. Also the effect of sexual rituals. And there will also be an Arcturian light language transmission for throat clearing. And we will be having a Darshan with Lord Shiva. And um, it doesn't happen all the time, but it happens and other beings too, of high rank, we could say. And we will also be talking about frowning and pain programming. And please understand that we went through rituals of protection and we raised our vibration beforehand you know, to be able to do this kind of work. We are not in a normal waking day consciousness. And I thank my client to give the consent to have this information shared with the public. And like most of my clients, he woke up quite recently to his gifts and his message to the world. And my job is to ask Source and other divine beings of love and light to give the information or insight necessary. You know, that is the homework that we have to do and to do the clearing. And as always, do not give your power away, but see if the following information resonates with you. And if you want to have a personal Skype session with me, just send me an email. And thank you for liking my video and leaving a comment. Enjoy! Yeah, he's just saying that he just wants the local uh, particular Templar incarnation, but it'll also come on side of explaining the Nubian imprint. So just in, um, in that timeline, um, so rituals such as, you know, the in, um, initiation rituals, such as like humiliation rituals, um, causing, you know, uh, obviously energy siphoning cords, but imprints also. And, and then the participating in the dark magic rituals uh, puts the Anubian black heart imprint into the heart space, which pretty much like feels like a, someone who has that symptom of having that imprint or implant would have like a, not been able to feel their heart as if their, their heart chakra is missing. And that effectively means that, you know, it, it allowed, allows any, you know, dark hearted beings to possess the body fully. Or like, but it happens, you know, bit by bit. But eventually, a dark personality might take over the body, and this happen. It uh, if this happens in a previous incarnation, that what he's calling a demon seed is living in the energy body, and then that kind of hatches, which allows dark energies to come in. Mm -hmm. So it's basically the humiliation ritual. Is that correct? Yeah, humiliation ritual kind of opens the doorway to, you know, guilt and shame. And then the dark magic rituals of, you know, you know, sacrifice uh, fully uh, instigates the imprint, the Anubian imprint. Yeah, he's also saying that those rituals um, of a sexual nature also, it reverses the sexual energy flow. So, you know, instead of flowing up as healthily as it should, it flows down into the Baphomet network. So that's what them rituals do also. Mm. So flows down. Yeah, it's like a reverse Kundalini. Mm -hmm. Instead of up. Yeah, so uh, my advice, you know, for any good sex is, you know, you in the lower chakras, you know, you create, you know, all this energy and you, mm -hmm. you know, pull it up your spine into your higher chakras, at least into your heart chakra. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, you know, as a man, you last longer. Mm -hmm. you know, and this is much more, you know, wonderful. Yeah. You basically yeah. get high on, on this beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can go all night 
It looked like a demigod the next day. <laughs> In a float. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's actually an Arcturian being here who says he'd like to do light language for it. Okay, go ahead. Yet the Braconia, she's the Briand, the Kin of the Briand, the Codi Briand, she's the Braco de Briand, the Shit the Yet the Bracoin, the Shit the Broad, the Separkin, the Brown, the Shitty. Yet the Bracon, the Brian, the Shusabraco de Brian, the Brakia, Separcon, the Brian, the Shit the Brakia, Set the Bracon, the Brian, the Shit the Brian, the Yama. Yet the Bracon, the Brian, the Shusabrian, the Braco de Brian, the Shitty. Yet the Bracon, the Brian, the Brakia, the Shusabrakian, the Brown, the Shusabron, the Brian, the Catabrian, the Kia, Separco, the Amarian, the Shitty. Yet the Bracon, the Brian, the Shit the Brian, the Codabrian. It is for throat chakra liberation in general, right? Yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, he's, he's, them, so. mm -hmm. he's saying that it's also like from the, all the rituals from uh, all the dark lifetimes, drinking blood has, you know, a big dark magic effect on the throat. Yeah, you like that. It's cleared from us and mm -hmm. our ancestors. Amen. Amen. Oy, oy, oy. Yeah, and the, uh, Shiva said, Shiva, I mean, Shiva wants to come in and help. Okay, yeah, please, please, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a transmuter of poisons, in, especially mm. with the throat. Yeah, please yeah. help. Mm -hmm. For all our ancestors, for all our incarnations, pretty, pretty, please. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. especially for this lifetime. standing on end. So yeah, actually, um, you know, I see many people frowning, you know, habitual, they can't change it, you know, they're like, there's so much pain in them. Yeah. And of course, it opens them up to more pain and, you know, prevents yes. them from tuning into their higher mind. Are there programs um, that, they're, um, you know, makes them keep frowning or is it just an indication of how much pain they're carrying? It's kind of both. It's kind of a yin-yang sort of situation. So yeah, they're carrying a lot of pain, but the, the the that pain is the programs as well from other lifetimes. So it's kind of both. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. You gotta clear the pain to you know yes. get the yeah. get the smiling and yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's go get to the so-called arachnids, or let's say spiders on the head mm -hmm. and other parasites. So in case of um, so how many spider implants um, does he have from how many lifetimes? So how many lifetimes did he first of all get infected with spiders? I have four. Mm -hmm. And how about Wolfgang? Four as well. Go equal. And um, so let's go to the most um, significant one, you know, for so what happened there? You know, how did he get infected there? Yeah, so again, it's this Templar lifetime. So in those rituals, um, on the astral plane, you know, all sorts of demonic beings come in, but they, they like to nest into the gallbladder meridian. 
this particular one so he's kind of like a spider kind of squid you know arachnid being but mm -hmm. um so what they do they predominantly live in the gallbladder meridian up and down the gallbladder meridian because it's the you know one of the main meridians that that runs from the feet all the way up to the head so it has full access of the body and um what it does is a lot of people have these especially uh, awakening you know awakening uh, healers or people who can affect humanity uh, huma affect humanity's ascension in a positive way so they kind of the cord into they affect the the inner voice so they kind of mimic the inner voice and kind of put you know thoughts of doubt or of perpetuate negative emotions like even let's say you healed a lifetime that had that emotions but for some reason those emotions are still being perpetuated. So the main thing to understand about those entities is being aware of them. Because if you don't feed them, they kind of die off and wriggle away. But um, yeah, so they, they live in the gallbladder meridian and then they make nests wherever they can in the energy body mm -hmm. and eggs. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So also, you know, the gallbladder meridian does not only run from head to, to foot. You know, I mean, it, it's here on the side. Yes. yes. Down there. Um, it uh, also the gallbladder meridian. You know, um, it it manipulates your anger. Mm. You know? I mean, the liver meridian as well as the gallbladder meridian. Um, affect your anger. Liver meridian, you know, if it's over on that charge, you know, um, is a duality in diffused anger. You know, anything pisses you off, so to say. Yeah. You know, if it's a raw better meridian, it's, um, you know, you only hate, you know, the immigrants or this politics or, yeah. you know, the spinach in the butter or whatever it is. You, know, you have very particular hates, you know, yeah. but it is connected with the anger. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So, um, and so we still have those. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you and me have those. Mm -hmm. Are those aspects, you know, that suffered from this implant, are they still stuck or are they already? Uh, already liberated, just deliberated. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we like to have um, the. Um, what are these called now? Yeah, any um, attachments? Any, any um, yeah, he's spiders? Calling, he's calling them archonic suppressor entities. Yeah, I know them as archons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, so kind of like a, a lower form of an archon, kind of like. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some people also consider archons like demigod, like dark, yeah. demigod, you know, and these are definitely not those. You know, these are like the more like squid like intelligences. Yeah, like there are pets, kind of, yeah. Yeah, many arms, you know, like rats, or, but, you know, with many arms. Mm -hmm. So we like to have those removed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. From, from Wolfgang, their past lifetimes, and their ancestors, whoever else we can ask for. Um, uh -huh. And... So, so you had four aspects stuck with this. Mm, have they been liberated now? Yes. Yeah. How about Wolfgang? Yep, good too, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, would you like to have you know, the stuff removed? Um, so yeah, you're just saying that the, just for more information, the, the reason why they come in the gallbladder meridian, because for some reason that links into the astral body, so it's kind of their, their entry point. Yeah, it's an entry point. You know, I mean, the, um, I mean, who doesn't have anger? Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, it's probably one of the darkest spots in your uh, in your energy body. Yeah. You know, ask whether you, you agree with that. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know, it's uh, <laughs> who doesn't have anger? Yeah, know? and then there can be uh, inherited from the ancestors then as well. Oh God, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah this inherited stuff you like to have clear too. Um, Amen. Yeah, the flow over 